Yo, Nation, what's going on with y'all, man? It's the Kid Illish Truth in the building. And today, man, today we're going to talk about something that I continue to support, something I'm going to continue to ride for, something I'm going to continue to harp on my channel every chance I get because I feel it's that important. And that is the separation between console and PC for honor. And I continue to do this because I want to keep the conversation up and going because I feel it's that damn important for the life of this game, the long-term life of this game, because I don't see conversations on it. I see so many things following the trend of this voiceover shit. And while I do agree the voices are important, they're, they're iconic to the game, the balance is most important. That's what's going to keep people playing it. You know what I mean? Like, it's the balance, you know what I mean? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So to start it off, I remember when I first started playing For Honor on PC, like a little part of me said, like, I'll be making this video if things didn't come to fruition within a few months for For Honor on console. And here we are six months later, and you're watching this video on my channel that may result in my channel committing suicide, honestly. This shit, the shit I'm talking about is like some other shit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break this shit down, man. For Honor on console is honestly like a lost cause at this point. Like it allows sloppy habits to become standard habits. Everything from light spam to properly reading mix-ups is less of a guessing game and is more of a round of Russian roulette. And what I mean by that shit is like See, with a guessing game, you get to choose out of the options you have available to you. But with the game of Russian Roulette, you only have one choice in actuality, and that's just to pull the trigger. And that choice is made for you, and that's what sucks about it. So when it comes down to the frames per second, or FPS for short, with PC, you could choose your frames per second, while on console, the choice is simply made for you. And it's a horrible one at that. 30. You have 30 frames per second on the console version of For Honor. Let's let that sit in for a minute. That's 30 distinct animation frames for your brain to react and respond to per second. So let's make a quick example of this shit. So let's take Peacekeeper, right? Peacekeeper's own attack clocks in at 400 ms or 4 tenths of a second. You have approximately 12 distinct frames to react and respond to by doing some quick math. <laughs> quick math for you nicks. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take this to my personal PC for a quick comparison. Current, I currently play at 160 frames per second. Using the same PK zone attack at 400 ms, like I would have 64 animation frames to react and respond to. So as you can see by this actual example, I have five times the amount of frames on my PC than I would on my console. In fact, I actually have over two times the amount of frames in my four tenths of a second than someone on console would have in a whole second. And that's not to include display delay on monitors and TVs. Hell, you throw in some network latency and what you have is a berserker going at you crazy like that motherfucker just broke through his shell and achieved Master Ultra Instinct. So with all this shit in mind, like why in the world would I, or should I say someone new, a new informed player actually consider playing this reaction based game on console? Why would anyone that had the ability to buy the components to play on PC play on console? Why would I take this game serious on console? That's like me going from playing on a pro level basketball court to dunking on a Fisher Price toddler special or vice versa depending on how you look at it. And that's the scary thing about this shit, like console players moving to PC truly feel the light of day when they transition. And you know of course they transition without all their gear or reps of course. This whole we won't fix console but you have to start over when you move to PC is a whole different video. But nonetheless the level of difference between these two platforms not only justifies the distinct balance change based on the platform in my opinion but it should also require those changes to be fully tested on both platforms before being implemented. It just upsets me that neither of which are in the works. That makes absolutely no sense to me, like at all. I don't get it. Like while I'm pretty damn sure like internal testing for balance changes are done on console, the lack of an open test server on console truly doesn't sit well with me. Like the majority of For Honor's active player base is on console. So to forego their ability to test these changes and implement them, is not only like a disservice to them and their dedication, it's a disservice to Ubisoft's hard work and their quality of service. And while I'm no damn game developer, and I never claim to be or never will claim to be, me and my professional light understand the concept of cover your corners. And to leave the console side out of a critical feedback window for these upcoming changes is not covering a large corner of your player base. It doesn't have to be the same length, nor the same number of days, nor have the same content as the PC version, but I feel there does need to be a form of tests, whether it's public or private on the console platform in the future. The console side of For Honor more than deserves to give their feedback on changes made on their game on their platform. They shouldn't have to move the PC to play and see these changes up front and when they're gonna be playing it on console. None of this shit is new, none of this information is new, I'm not claiming that y'all, but what I'm saying is this has led me to not care about the game on my home platform of PS4. Not only do I not care for it, but I can't take the game serious. When I die to an Orochi light brigade that I know I would have blocked or let alone parried by the second light on PC, I just write the shit off. 
I don't get mad. I don't blame the player. Hell, I don't even blame myself. I just write this shit off. This isn't a mindset that I would want to see new players come out of frustration of balance changes made for PC making their way to fucking console. I would have them see the error in their mistakes and aim to improve because the game gives them the animation frames to properly react and respond to. So while I've grown to not care for this game on console, I've grown to care more about the console players. So if there's anyone, anything I can do to keep this conversation going, even if that means just making these videos Ubisoft will never see or rely on my own sword for the console players, I'll do it because you guys fully deserve to play the game in a proper state straight up. Like, and that's factual. Like, if there's anything I can do, like, I just make these little small ass videos. I know the motherfuckers probably don't see them shits, but nonetheless, if I could put on for y'all, I will do that. Like, what do you guys think about this shit, man? I know I've been harping for like five minutes or so. Uh, what do you guys think about like console? Do any guys play on console and also play on PC? I would love to hear your input. Guys who just playing on PC, guys who just playing on console. I know it's very hard for you us to understand each other. It's like you just have the guys who play both where they can understand where both sides are coming from. And I think that is definitely needs something needs to change. Even something as little as allowing PC rep, allowing console reps to make their way to PC. You get all your gear, all your reps, so you don't have to start all the way over when you want to go to the best side of the game. In my opinion, is on PC when you want to go that we want to go that route. Allow us to just keep our keep our progress. I think that would be great. But that's all I really have for you guys, man. I just want to keep this conversation going. They got this voiceover shit. I get it. The voices are important. They're important, but goddamn, bro, like this shit is so much more important. Balance in the game is so important. With these new heroes, they got 400 ms chains they got like you know what i mean they got this ridiculous shit they just got rid of the guard switch bug so now all the static guard going to have that 100 millisecond delay in their guard switch you're going to start getting hit with those lights the, the the balance needs to happen it needs to happen in some way shape or form and up until now ubisoft has just said nope we can't do that 60 fps on console nope we can't do that different balances between the platforms nope we can't do that take your take your progress over to pc nope we can't do that it's like no something has to give and if they can't show us the light i would love to see a blog post i would love to see one of those blog posters blatantly explaining why they can't bring 60 fps to console other than nope we can't do that like like, like they did with the lag compensation how they broke that down like how they broke that down i would love to see that for this 60 fps thing because i'm not going to sit here and, and, and question them but i definitely would love to see that just so I, i'm intrigued by that you know what i'm talking about i want to see that i would love to see that but that's all i got for you guys man sorry for harping um i'll definitely catch you guys in the next video man peace to the world peace to the earth we out ladies and gentlemen that's a wrap peace y'all